So over here, you can see that I have a footage on my timeline. And if I were to go to view options, I get some um, options right here. So if I were to go over here and click on play, you can see that the footage plays. I can stop it or I can play and pause it right here. I can also access the full screen right here and press Alt Enter to return back. To view the shortcuts on the view menu, you can see that on the right hand side, there's all the shortcuts listed. And over here on the playback quality, you can set that out into full and play that out. And you can see that the quality has changed out. So you can go around and uh, choose, let's say, for example, half quality. And that is how it actually looks out. So you can go ahead and change the zoom level. So right now it's set to fit. But if I were to choose 100%, you can see that it zooms to 100% right here. So I can go around, click on the, this little square box to actually zoom it in the area that I want. Then I can go around over here and change the zoom level to fit if I want to fit it out. You can also enable safe zones. So once you enable safe zone, you actually get this. And what this means is that the text are supposed to be kept inside the inner box right here while the actions are supposed to be till the outer box because anything outside that may be cropped out. Then you got other options as well like there's a previous frame right here so you can navigate back to like one frame right here you can really zoom out right here and then go to next frame and you can see that it's shift one frame just like that. You also have options to go to a previous second or the project end and so forth and navigate around and you also have zoom in timeline option right here. So you can zoom to fit to see the entire uh, workspace over here in the timeline. And then you can also enable canvas snapping. So you can go around over here. So now you can see that the uh, clip does not snap anywhere. But if I were to go over here and enable canvas snapping, then it snaps onto place. And you can see that there's this uh, these little line that appear. And that is how you can work around with the view menu options inside of Filmora. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.